Well, I'm using an RTK antenna. I don't need ground control points. <sighs> Exasperation. Uh, yeah. In practicality, if everything goes right, I can understand why people say that that is true. But in the real world, everything does not go right. We had a training last month that the KP index was right at five when we started and all the drones were having bad GPS data. And so if you didn't do your pre-flight checklist and you didn't see that the KP index was five and you just flew your drone and the RTK antenna was turned on, your data would be all screwed up. You had no idea why. You would think, oh, I use my RTK antenna. It was connected to the internet. It was connected to a VRS. Everything worked great. I'm fine. Okay, well, what if the humidity is 85% that day, right? Water in the atmosphere causes signal attenuation and sometimes you have to correct for that. So again, there's so many variables that it's like, well, I think if we're actually gonna be teaching people the right way to go about this, which we always do, we always wanna make sure that people know as much as possible to make the best decisions possible. I would say in a perfect world, no, you cannot just use an RTK antenna on your drone and everything is gonna go peachy. You ultimately, and ASPRS says this as well, which who's setting the standards for all this. They always say, no, 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 you have to absolutely always have one control, which means one known point.